I was at home and I heard distant screaming. I came out to the balcony and uh, could see this yacht going back and forth. And at first I thought it was just like a, a party boat, you know, and they were yahooing. But then I saw all these torches going into the water and I was like, oh, okay, someone's fallen in. This is not a party boat. I drove to the Coast Guard, no one was there. I begged the guy upstairs to call the police. I think someone had already called the police by that point because a, a cop did turn up, one guy, pretty quickly. But by that point, the yacht had gone from like over there to here. And me and my girlfriend and my elderly neighbor were the only ones here when it crashed into the rocks. And um, then we just had to listen to people screaming for help for hours, hours. You know, when it was happening, I was fairly calm because I was just trying to think, okay, what can we do? We grabbed, my neighbor had some of those inflatable donut things and I was able to throw them pretty close to people, but the people that I threw it to, I think were already dead. Um, and it, it wasn't until um, I was talking to my parents and I was recounting everything that I really realized how disturbing it, it all was. So. And it, it, it makes me angry just how it all played out. My neighbor, you know, thinks that the rescue effort was a miracle and that might be true. I, I was a bit critical of the fact that it took like two or three hours to get rope over the cliff and to really get this system going, you know, because it just didn't seem that it was that complicated to do and to listen to people screaming for help for two or three hours whilst no one's I mean people were making an effort but it, it seemed like the locals who brought a local crane and local firefighters like because no one had no one seemed to be communicating there was no uh, megaphone to communicate with people some of the migrants were trying to climb up the cliff it was just it was a shit show and it could have been, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. We carried a guy, the first guy out, we carried him to a car. I got him, uh, we got him towels from our apartment. We got him water. Um, I told him to take him to the hospital. I don't know why the rescue crews weren't doing that. Um, but anyway, the, the locals came together really well. I mean, this is the fourth crashed ship in Diakofte in the last however many years. There's one there, one there, and it was a yacht a few months ago. The Coast Guard need to have more resources, you know. Uh, they need to have like rubber dinghies that they can get in and they need to have megaphones that they can communicate with people. I just hope they're better resourced in the future.